Introduction to Inequalities. So an inequality is a mathematical statement that uses some symbols, which we're going to look at. So they're going to be symbols like this, which you may or may not have seen before. Now this first one means less than. This one here means greater than. Next one means less than or equal to. This one means greater than or equal to. So if it points to the left, it's less than, and if it points to the right, it's greater than. And with this kind of looking like an equal sign, they're the ones with that are also equal to as well. And we can use these to write some statements. We can say that two is less than six. We can say three is greater than minus one. We can even say that zero is less than or equal to zero. We can even mix some algebra in there. 2x plus 1 is less than or equal to 10. That one there, we can actually solve for x, but we're going to look at that in our next video. We can also graph inequalities on a number line. So if we have something like x is greater than 1, to graph it on a number line, all we have to do is draw our line, show where 1 is on that line. I usually draw the point in before and after, so 2 and 0. Draw a circle above the key value, which is 1. If it's not an equal to symbol, so just a greater than or less than, we leave the circle open. And where are all the numbers greater than 1? Because that's what it's trying to say. Well, they're on the right. So then we draw an arrow going from the circle, showing where all the numbers are greater than 1. What about x is less than minus 2? So we're going to draw a number line with our key value in the middle, minus 2 show minus 1 on this side and minus 3 on this side. Because it's not equal to, we're drawing an open circle above our key value. And where are all the numbers less than minus 2? Well, they're this way. The inequality kind of gives you a clue on which way to draw the arrow as well. So greater than, you can see the arrow is going, pointing in the same direction. And less than, this arrow is pointing in the same direction. What about x is greater than or equal to 7? So key value in the middle, show values on either side, so 8 and 6. This time we have an equal to symbol, so our circle is going to be coloured in. Where are all the values greater than 7? Well, they're this way. What about we can also have a statement that shows values in between two inequalities. So here we're looking at all the values that are in between minus 2 and 3. We might have to draw a bit of a bigger number line this time. Let's show 0, 1, 2, 3. Let's go to 4, minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. So we should have arrows on the ends of all these because this number line does go forever. Now, to plot this on the number line, well, our key values are minus 2 and 3. So let's put circles above those. 1 at minus 2 and 1 at 3. Now, at 2, we have an equal to sign, so that one needs to be coloured in. 
but a three is no equal to sign, so we leave that one open. And this is saying, where are all the values greater than or equal to minus two? Well, they're over on this side. And where are all the values that x is less than three? Well, they're on this side. So when we read, this is a less than or equal to sign, but when we read it this way, we read it as a backward sign. So we can say minus two is less than or equal to x, or x is greater than or equal to minus two. And where all these values go, they're all in the middle here. So we just join them together. Thank you.